Ball Komodi Volleyball, and we're just going to work on our ground striking. Okay? Here's what we have to do. We're working our ground strike, you can strike off either side. To score, you have to hit the ball onto the other team's side of the court. And if the ball, for example, if I'm on this team and the ball goes between the orange cones over there, I'll get a point from my team. If I'm on this team and the ball goes between the orange cones up there, I'll get a point from my team. Have we got that? Now, in the middle here, we've no man's land, so we have to make sure the ball doesn't get stuck in no man's land. If it does, let me know, I'll hit it out. Have we got that? Okay, so, you're allowed to block, you can, you can block the other person's ball that comes across, and then you can strike. But when we're striking, can we make sure that there's nobody around in case you hit them with a verbal accent? Is that fair enough? Okay, I want to strike. Off we go! The ball is stuck, I'll hit it back. Left side or right side? Good. Well done. I love the strike and remember we block and we strike. Good girl, well done. Good, we'll get it. If the ball stops in the middle, three more serves in the game. Good work. Left side, right side. In the air, yeah. And one more. Oh, I love the blocking. How many times do you to block a ball in the match? Lots of times, don't we? Block the times. So when you when you happen the ball, what do you do? Remember, whenever you happen the ball, what, what were you looking at? Yeah, you were looking for them to hit balls over the block. And what were you what were you deciding in your head? What were you thinking about? You were say, were you thinking about? Well, is she going to hit it long or short? Were you thinking about that, were you? Were you thinking about it, maybe she hit it to the corner, maybe she hit it to the front? Were you thinking about that? What, what were you thinking about when you had the ball? Get it over the place fast, exactly. And where are you going to hit it, aren't you? There was two things to think about. Can I hit it fast? And where am I going to hit it? Do we all do all those things? Yes, you one more. Yeah, exactly. Sometimes in the game, you mightn't get a ball for a while. Sure, you mightn't, but you have to keep trying. That's a really important point. Do we have to do all those things in the game? Do you have a point to make? Oh, no. no. Okay, right, we're going to completely change the game. We can strike from the hand or from the ground. This remains no man's land. If the ball drops to no man's land, the nearest girl can go fish it out. We're going to strike for, we're going to go for 45 seconds, okay? And at the end of the 45 seconds, we're going to see which team has the least amount of tennis balls on their side. The team with the least amount of tennis balls on their side is going to win the game. And we have our two scorekeepers here that are going to count for us. Now, here's the other rule. If there's somebody who hits a tennis ball after the whistle goes, what would be, what should happen, you think? What do you think should happen? The other team, the other team might get, might uh, get the point, or might lose, or might. What we might do is that the team that hit the ball after the whistle, we might add extra points to them, because it's the team that win, that has the least amount of balls wins.
các em Once you connect, it goes a long way down. And also, some of this can catch the ball. 